Audio Audacity. It's been a long time, but we're back once again. We're going to try this thing, doing this thing once a month. And uh, this episode is sponsored by, she, we have with Debbie Weber. Now's the time to buy a uh, home. Give her a call. And, uh, well, I lost, left everything at the crib this time around, so we just went to wing it. Uh, Paradigm Credit Systems. Also, Don Thomas. Good, also a great sponsor. Yeah. And uh, okay, Debbie Weber, Carter. We have... Paradigm Credit Systems, we have uh, Don Thomas, and we're going to, this episode is a pretty, pretty serious thing, so we'll get to the, to the sponsors later, but uh, this episode is episode 53, and it's uh, <laughs> Control-Alt-Delete-That-Baby. Yeah, Ooh, Marvin style. We're doing a lot about, about uh, abortion, so on the panel tonight, we have Boss Lady Brooks. Hello! Next to her, we have Texas Homegrown. <laughs> Bam, bam, bam. Across from her, we have Dr. Chocolate. Hello. Mrs. Doubtfire. All right, voice. so here we go. Um, <laughs> man, let me, uh, we all behind the Well, it's just one of them days. Y'all know, one of them, one of them long, days. fruitless weekend. It's one of them days. Basically. It's just Jubilee. one of them days. <laughs> okay, so the dog don't like my singing. Uh, that's fine. That's fine with me. <laughs> Uh, you know, with work. everything going on right now, you know, you have the Roe versus Wade being overturned, and we have everybody uh, in a in a tizzy because of Roe v. Wade being overturned after so long. And uh, so, you know, with with that being said, I'm sure you may have known someone that had had to get an abortion, whether it be for uh, health Practical purposes, for, for practicality, yeah. don't want another child, mm -hmm. don't have don't have. Uh, the means to take care of another child. And then there's some people who did it for sport, you know, who just had abortions after abortions after abortions. Like it's birth control. Like it's birth control, you know, and that shit right there. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that Using it as birth control. Or not birth control. Yeah. 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 I know somebody like that too. Me too. I know, I know a lot several. of people like that. And yeah. she's yeah. envious that I'm a mom. How could you possibly? Couldn't possibly. Yeah. I told her she's going to meet him in the afterlife. She'll be all right. So, um, you know, so. With that being said, why are there still unwanted pregnancies when there are condoms, birth control, hell, you can you got hand jobs, shit, <laughs> head and anal. So anal. there is no reason behind why you can still get motherfuckers and pregnant you do on anal. accident. I mean, do oh, on accident. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, that. I mean, there's other 90, ways. Ninety percent of it is irresponsibility. And here, here I go. Ask the Catholics. <laughs> there are other ways. <laughs> oh, birth control. What it be for? Yeah, no, I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> you know, with, I, with your eyes open? You was, you was thinking with your eyes open. He had to say something. Oh, yeah. uh, this is about to turn into so another you, podcast. You know he did. Right? No, 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 no. It, actually, yeah. it wasn't. Okay. It was right. not. Nah, no. Nah. I was actually thinking, but he said accidental. Because I was saying, you know, for them to sit and say you have to have a baby, let's just say it wasn't an accident. Right. What if you were molested? What if right. you were raped? Right. So now you're forcing me to have a baby. That's unwanted. That's unwanted because of a situation I didn't put myself into. Right. That's the part I have a problem with. How about I can't take, of a baby, take care of a baby? I don't want a baby in its juncture in my life. Have the baby, have the baby, have the baby. Okay, you had a baby. Then it's like, can somebody help me with the baby? Oh, now you want welfare. Let me take your ass out there and work. I didn't want the baby. You stressed to have the baby. But that goes back to con. Ooh. That goes back to condoms and yeah, other methods. That goes back to all the other stuff that you could be doing. Other methods. To, yeah, other methods. So in them cases right there, where you're just irresponsible and you you're you, you don't even try. Yeah, you're not yeah. even trying to yeah. not. Now I mean, of course, condoms burst. Well, the peel. I mean, sometimes the baby got the peel in his hand because they didn't took it uh -huh. for you. Well, I mean, men don't men don't realize that this affects them just as well not just because of child support but you, know, <clears throat> you you want to have the freedom to have sex with who you want to but even though you you use proper birth control methods it failed now you're stuck mm -hmm. now you're in a situation i mean it could affect so many things and the major part about this whole situation is the people that are making decisions and making these laws about 
women's reproductive systems are the ones who are not having the baby. They're well past ages of having mm -hmm. babies, even if they can get it up. And I'm talking about the men. Uh, yeah. You uh, know, the women, the, there are, you know, not, not to get off into all the side topics, but there are so many old older people who have syphilis and all these other diseases that have deteriorated their reproductive systems, mm -hmm. as well as women who um, are older go through the same thing. You know, um, yeah. by the, with the field that I work in, I run across a lot of older people, we're talking about 80s and 90s, who have longstanding illnesses, STDs. True, because of that. their mates who mm -hmm. they were with for years because they were out screwing around with multiple women mm -hmm. and they, may or may not have babies out there mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's 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 a broader range than just women or just our reproductive system it, it affects you just wanting to I have feel like, sex mm -hmm. yeah it's 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 a real emotional battle because i'll be honest i'm on both sides of the fence but i'm pro-life i mean you should be able to have that choice we have a choice about some of everything in life some of everything in life and in 2022 you mean to tell me i don't have that particular choice you can to carry do? a gun but you yeah i mean you know what i mean but you have the choice whether you can or not literally you can carry marry a, a 12 year old with the parents consent yeah. in certain certain states. in certain yeah you you know what i mean but you literally it's, lyric, that it's, it's still on there. the books it's that ridiculous. you can't do certain mm -hmm. things but mm -hmm. i can't believe they did this Mm -hmm. I'm preg I'm pregnant by my daddy. I can't have an abortion. Mm -hmm. No, I knew, that, I, I knew it was coming. So the writing was on the wall a so long time ago. Mm -hmm. Basically, what this comes up to is why doesn't the the government? Okay, why does the government want the children to be born? It's simple. When you have poor, undereducated, under underprivileged blacks hispanics and any other minority that's out there who are having babies five to seven times more than caucasians hmm. that equals trouble for not just the united states but for the world but because in the world white people are the minority in the world whether they realize it or not, even though there are different races out there who want to claim to be white, like the Italians, you're not white. Mm -hmm. Like some of the uh, uh, Arabs, mm -hmm. you're not white. Mm -hmm. Some they absolutely are right. Not white. You know, there's a <laughs> lot of people out there. Like. Some, of, you know, so if you if you put it all on on paper and put it just lay it in front of you, it's a, it's a numbers game. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have, you know, first of all, when you have Poor whites, blacks, and black and brown, having more babies. Well, having well, I'll put it like this. From what I can read, if you are a poor white, black, Hispanic, uneducated, high school diploma only, you are five to seven times likely to have an unwanted pregnancy and keep it, okay, and keep it because you can't afford to have the abortion lots of times than a wealthy white, black, or Hispanic with a bachelor's degree or higher. So they are seven, seven to five times more likely to keep it, more than a person who is wealthy and of a higher echelon mm -hmm. because they can afford to abort the baby and go right back to work or take some time off and just, just relax and, and vacation, you know, mm -hmm. you know, the, you know do, do some stuff, have a spritzer <laughs> <laughs> after, well, the, you know, after you drop, oh, the, after drop the baby. Portion. But also in addition <laughs> to that, you I'm have, on wings. Um, the the you know the more intellectual uh, people who have the better doctors who when they say I, I want to get my tubes tied they go ahead and do it without giving them a fight mm -hmm. or without telling them oh you 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 might get married or you're not thirty yet how about I needed this. my husband's I needed that? my husband's they permission get, exactly to get my tubes tied okay. with my third son so mm -hmm. I came right back out of Illinois back over to Missouri to have my baby mm -hmm. so I could get it done but, but in Illinois. He, because we were living in Illinois. Exactly. And that's, their rules are, well, you're a married couple. You need his permission. Right. He got to sign off on it. But see, Boy, you, don't get out they, my you know, when you, when you have money, you can afford to get a concierge doctor 
and who you can tell what you a la carte done, mm-hmm. and they will do it do it versus when you go to the clinic peoples or whoever and yeah. they tell you no you know we, we can't do that you still of uh you still of the age of having children, children. You, you know you're not close to menopause i even had the doctor tell me oh you you're close to menopause uh you can just wait you wait it wait out you. i said and my response was do you know how many menopause babies there are running around here i know a hey, shout out to my friend sissy she has a 26 year old daughter and i think her daughter's two in a few weeks i and now her 26 year old was her only child right and she thought she was going through menopause you know spotting the whole night come to find out I say, okay. babe. No, but they did me like that when I was. Good. I only had my one daughter, mm-hmm. and I think I was like thirty something at the time, and I wanted to get my two. They wouldn't do it, and I'm from Texas, so they really. I was in Texas at the time. But they wouldn't do it. They yeah. wouldn't touch me. Wouldn't mm-hmm. they, all that. You're but too young. You to might want to get married. That's How not you gonna up tell to me? them. I still that's got not one. Up to and them. that's where this case. That's where this case mm-hmm. um, starts from. Uh, down in Texas, Texas. the Roe mm-hmm. versus Wade. Yes, oh, it's exactly bad down there. And that's uh, where it all stems from. In uh, 73? 1973, it was a landmark decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that the Constitution of the United States generally mm-hmm. protects a pregnant woman's, pregnant woman's liberty to choose to have an abortion. Mm-hmm. The decision struck down by many U.S. federal and state abortion laws and fueled an ongoing debate in the United States on whether or not, to, and, and, to, and to what extent, an abortion should be legal. Who should decide the legality of abortion and the role of moral and religious views in the political sphere should be? It also shaped debates concerning which methods of the Supreme Court should use in the constitutional constitutional adjudication. <laughs> yeah, what so, you said. Yeah, well, I just said. Um, and that story it started in Texas with you know, Roe v. Wade. Mm-hmm. Roe being uh, pseudonym Jane Roe. What was her real name, uh, babe? Um. I don't know if we should even still see. put that out there. Her name was Norma McCorvey. Norma McCorvey. Yeah. Norma McCorvey. Yeah. Yeah, Norma McCorvey. That was her real name. And this all stem. Look who's look who are the majority on the Supreme Court right now. You know, you have a lot of you have some white supremacists as well as one in particular white sympathist being Clarence Thomas. Mm-hmm. So he you know, he's married to a white woman and he has a situation going on where his wife was a Trump supporter and damn near lied on for for Trump and tried to get some stuff. You know, she tried to help mm-hmm. help Trump back up his whole lie about he was he was railroaded. Mm-hmm. She she wanted to talk to her husband about mm-hmm. going to all the Supreme Court to change some stuff around, which was was some, some scandalous ass shit. But, but he was scandalous anyway. Yeah. This all this stuff stems from bottom line is because the white race, I mean, if you want to call it that, the, it, the numbers are dwindling, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. and the numbers for the minorities and the poor whites are escalating. We can't even, we ain't got to even involve the poor whites because they're still white. Mm-hmm. So it's just, just the numbers of, you know, the underprivileged blacks and browns are, 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 are jumping at a higher rate. And then you have people coming over from India, uh, Mexico, China, you know, the country's becoming more and more colored than... <laughs> Than vanilla. Unfortunately, when they did the census, um, they purposely told people that if their actual race was not on that form, to mark it Caucasian, mm-hmm. which is the reason why they show Caucasian as still being the mm-hmm. majority, but it truly is not. not. It it's truly is because they have lied and continue to lie. Right. Yeah. It's still it truly is exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's all, and, then, yeah. and that's that's pretty much how it's oh, going to be. Stock but, market. Every soul, every person with social security numbers on the stock exchange. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's a and business. That's, that's a big thing you have to think about. Not only that, let's go into pharmaceuticals. Mm-hmm. Birth control skyrocketed. Mm-hmm. Plan B skyrocketed. It's, it, it's like a trickle-down theory. Everything is, is going up to support this horrible decision. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you want to have the plan Bs. You want, if, if their agenda... Is really to get rid of us because that's one reason to me why they're turning everything has to be and and this is Pride Week, God bless them and all that. I went down there last night and hung out. But the agenda is to push the young black men especially mm-hmm. in the gay direction to mm-hmm. take the men out of the household. Demasculate Yeah, demasculate. Yeah, but the, yeah. And and so now that you're you're making it so that you can't have 
having an abortion, you're still, we're still going to populate. We're going to populate regardless. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We're going to populate, populate, and populate. But now the second agenda, like I said, okay, well, y'all can populate, but we're going to make sure that we make these people here, the young men, feminine. They're going to, what they, this is what they do. Uh, like Tariq, uh, uh, Tariq Nasheed, he calls police officers race uh, soldiers because that's what police officers, the police officers aren't meant to serve and protect us, it's to serve and protect the white people. Of course. So what do they do? They kill us in mass, in mass, in, in mass droves, droves mm-hmm. in to droves. minimize our numbers because, yeah, we are, you know, they, they want to make us less than men. You know, we're, we're beasts. We, you know, oh, I was feared for my life because I walked down the street with my hand in my pocket. With a hoodie on. With a hoodie on. So all this goes right back to, no, to, 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 to race. To race Controlling the race. Oh, of course it's stupid. I mean, but I, so, I mean, this Wouldn't is, be America. I just don't understand that if <laughs> you're taking abortion away, you would think that you would want to have abortion, abortions and Available. you would want to make them cheap so that you can make sure that this race of people here that we're so in fear of does not populate. Not, not exactly. But, but see, the, the problem exactly. is, is that the majority of the women that are in the abortion clinics are white. Are white. Well, yeah. So and that, uh, that's the majority why. of and, the welfare and they make it their <laughs> recipients uh, because a lot a lot of them are Catholic. They can't they can't actually use birth control. Mm-hmm. You know, birth control is shunned on the men. You know, um, it, they actually go to their ch- their churches against their you know their wives, daughters, or whoever to have them excommunicated because mm-hmm. they've they've used birth control. But the women can sneak. They can actually sneak and go get an abortion. You can't release anything. Mm-hmm. The, the when they go to their doctors, someone might leak something, you might, you might. and they get in trouble. You might, you might. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can definitely see that. I mean, it's a way around everything. Yeah, it's a way around everything since I mean, the beginning the ones, of time. You know, they're the ones is, who are. They're not worried about. I'm gonna tell you why they're not worried about the black race populating. Because they're killing us, just like most well, yeah, Oh, and that's we're conditioned true. to yeah. kill each other. Yeah. Don't forget yeah. about that. Exactly. We can and, take it back to Willie Lynch. I mean, you know, even though there are, <laughs> there are a lot of uh, vehicle break-ins because these young boys are looking for guns, mm-hmm. please believe that they're not. that's not the main focus of how the guns are getting into the black neighborhood. I know oh, you yeah, don't believe that. Down. I know they and don't like, believe you know, that. They're, they're going to keep pouring the guns into the black communities yeah. so right. that they continue to keep killing each other because it's going to increase the, the white population. But also, oh, we'll let them kill themselves. Right. Right. I mean, it's, it's going to happen anyway if you're not getting the resources, if you're right. not getting the, the health care, if you're not getting the, you know, Unfair the therapy, if you're not getting all of that that's, you know, let's put it like this. If you're not getting all of that that's not what you get in North County versus what you get down in the city, or West I, County. you know, or out in Warrington, you're not getting that off of MLK. North County, baby, no, no, I'm just saying in that regard, you know, you know, most of the blacks moved in North County thinking they was getting something better. Nope. And, and now everybody there, and it's like, okay, North County ain't the spot to be. No. Let me move out to Winsfield. Let me move out to Warrington. Let me move Troy. steady. Yeah, but you know, out there in Troy and, and Warrington and all of those places, it is better health care. There's been times I've went to a hospital in North County versus a, a hospital way out way out yonder, Saint Peter's and, and yeah. I got That's the right, better yeah. resources. And I live in that area because they just didn't have the resources. Mm-hmm. It's hospitals. The They'll have the signs that'll say, you know, if you're currently in labor we have to deliver the baby and i'm paraphrasing we, we will deliver your baby but you know this particular insurance da, 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 or we take this we don't take this one we take this we don't take you know but they'll deliver your baby but they're gonna court you off you got to go elsewhere after that like that that ain't us i got you but that ain't us we don't have and some of them even say we don't have the resources mm-hmm. Like, if you fund this hospital, they'll have the resources. Then we'll have the resources, right? You got your placenta just hanging out. Yeah, put that in your pocket. (laughs) Put that in your pocket. If you you that worried about it, put your Apple eye eye tag on it and take Mm -hmm. it with you. (laughs) Now, how much money do you think are being made off pregnancies? Oh, yes. Um, The doctors definitely. Um, Medicine, I can remember, you know, having... Um, my second child and the doctor, the, the nurse, not the doctor, let me correct myself, the nurse had the nerve to tell me, well, you got to wait until the doctor gets here because he, if if he's not here, he can't get paid for Excuse me? <laughs> it, it didn't matter 
if he wasn't the one that was actually like delivering, but he had to be in the like area. in that area. He had to legally be on the premises of that hospital so he could get paid. If not, excuse me, the presiding physician that was already there is going to get be able to bill for that. Hmm. They fight over billing. Uh, yeah, you could tell. But they make <laughs> good money mm-hmm. off of each birth, whether they're the ones actually, all they walk in, okay, push, they, you know, they look at you, I want their paycheck. And then they walk out the door. Mm-hmm. I what, want their paycheck. That's why I said even yeah. the nurses should make way more money than the doctors do because they do 85% of the work. Exactly. The doctor come in there, freely fell around, stick fingers in there, but she done stuck fingers in there all day. Mm-hmm. Sizing to see how how much you done dilated, and then he come in there and say, "Okay, put your legs up and push." Mm-hmm. Well, and I could do that by myself. Them. Well, mm-hmm. but then we got another side of that too, because you know, so we have a lot of you know minority babies being born, but we don't have the same health care as the white counterparts, right? Mm-hmm. So when you think about the mortality rate of the white counterparts versus the mortality rate of the blacks. You know, you lose more black babies. You lose more black mothers. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not, they're just, we are collateral damage. Mm-hmm. With and everything. It's, it's no, and it's if, no and consequence. If not guinea pigs. And that's oh, we definitely oh, we've pigs. been definitely been guinea we've pigs. We've been guinea pigs for years. Yeah. But it's just the fact that, you know, we're, I guess in, for us as women, we're looking at it, we're looking at our daughters. You know, we're looking at our grandchildren, what's going to happen with them. But the reality is, is that this ain't about us. It really ain't. It's not about us. If you are of color, this is not about you. Mm-hmm. It will be once once there. it's going to start being about us once people go back to those backroom abortions. No, yeah. for real. Yeah. But the ones who were actually doing the backroom abortions back in the day were the whites. Well, it's been happening again. But this time, but this time around, it's gonna be us, black and white. You know, a lot of stuff back in the day was whites did this, blacks did this. And we kept but it. Now, let them do that over there. Why with now with you have black goths, you have black gay, you have black transsexual. You know, it's like everything merged into one thing. You have white hip hop artists, it's like everything that used to be just delegated well, to one race or another. Now you it's have a both. melting pot. It's a mm-hmm. melting pot now, but which, which in a lot of ways is good and a lot of ways is bad, mm-hmm. but you're going to start seeing a lot more blacks. Cause now just think about how many blacks and die with BBLs. Now how many blacks are going to die because of botched abortions? A lot, a lot, mm-hmm. a lot, a lot. Wait, you go start seeing a lot of these uh, the midwives that know how to do. You you're going to see us. Day. You're going to yeah. see a lot more people in the hospital. Sorry. It's going to be a lot more people in the hospital due to that because it's going to be, let me go on YouTube. And get the basics and do this myself. But after you do so much damage, yeah, you're going to be in the hospital. How, like, I mean, you're going to you see so a lot much of damage, and mm-hmm. by the time you make it there, yeah, you know, will you survive? Doubt it. Will you ever be able to have children again? Doubt it. They have will that child survive. I mean, just it's so yeah. much to that. And yeah. then they're going to call the police on you. Yeah, because oh, that's what a doctor can give five you know? years to life. If, if that baby, if that baby abortion. draw air, and that that baby draw air, you go put it in the trash can. It's a wrap for you. But if a doctor does an abortion, it's five years to life for doing an abortion. That's but finna, that's why they're gonna come hard, so they can. Yeah, keep, they gotta keep the narrative. They gotta, they, they gotta but, save but these they white babies. Those are, do, those are doctors. What about the people that's actually gonna be performing backroom abortions? They're not gonna be doctors. That's what I'm saying. The you doctors, know? yeah, they they know what they, they their consequences right. are. It's the ones that don't have an MD behind their name. Right. But you got Colgate, you got Bing, not Bing, um, you got the T's. It's stuff out there that will have you to go into abortion if you're still All early you have to do is overtake Plan B. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is overtake Plan B. Right, but Dramatically. do they still have Plan B, though? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they, they just that. cost eighty oh. some dollars a treatment. Well, I don't have any problems. So I'm you know. just saying. And okay. one of the one of the there's and also another way of pregnancy making money. Do you guys remember what was the last orphanage you you you've seen? Orphanages went the nah, way of the for real. orphanages went the way of the dodo because people started getting mm-hmm. they started being they I saw this years ago that once Roe v Wade mm-hmm. was a thing mm-hmm. a, uh, orphanages started closing down one by one mm-hmm. because there were less children that were unwanted now they're going to start coming back watch I mean, they, and it's going to be a lot of money right. in housing kids like they house mm-hmm. like they house uh jail uh oh, even prisoners like market so yeah. right but a lot of a lot a lot to do with the orphanages back in those days is that they weren't monitored 
children come up missing and nobody even know. Right. Mm -hmm. They they have um, several. Uh, several places, uh, upstate New York, the different areas, where they have mass graves inside these, you know, on the grounds mm -hmm. of these buildings because mm -hmm. no one ever went to monitor these orphanages. Mm -hmm. And these kids were basically killed. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm saying it's like everything that they do, they have one agenda. They don't care the fallout. They don't care what happens. They just right. want to perform that one agenda. And the thing is, is that who can afford Plan B? And it's old white men. But but exactly. Tell but me. but they're not thinking who can afford Plan B. What they're going to take it off the market next? Watch. They're going to take birth control off the market next. What's going to happen? A, a pack of birth control pills, at minimum, are eighty eighty dollars to one hundred and twenty. That's just the basics. That's the that one that they give at the clinic, right? But when you get into the more sophisticated birth control systems, then you might pay three hundred dollars for a month a packet. So if you got people who can't afford that. What's gonna happen? Right. Well, Nobody's gonna stop fucking. I know. I well, if they, if they do, just, just do more anal, more, more head, <laughs> titty fucks. You know, it's way it's creative. Jobs. creative I did. Hey. That's for the people that, that you know, That's right. Taking active. Put in, put in your ear. You know? I did. Stick it in my ear. <laughs> in ear. I got active role and not wanting to there have a go. kid. I'm that good. makes sense. But I for those and for one of the nine, ten, eleven year old little girls out there that have no choice, who hit puberty early in life and they have absolutely no choice, what are we doing? What are we doing, really? Are you taking a choice? Yeah, that's a choice. How do you mandate what, what goes on with my vagina? But this is my body. Yeah. So you don't put a law on BBLs. Mm -hmm. You don't put a law on boobs. Uh, ass you shots. don't put a law. This is still my body at the end at of the, the day. At the end that's of the Mickey like Ficky day. man telling me that, uh, oh, your, your period ain't nothing. You tripping. Why you don't want to have you a period? You don't know. I had the ablation I mean, done. What, what about learning. if they tell you, well, we don't want you wearing uh, tampons anymore. All you can wear is pads. You know? Right, because I mean, of the... I mean, just uh, stupid stuff. What yeah. is it, it has nothing to do with it. Is it TSS? The toxic, toxic, toxic shock syndrome. Shock syndrome. Mm -hmm. I, blah, blah. That's what, I mean, that's what's the whole purpose of me not wanting to wear because I got that whole buzzard look. If it's a 98% chance that you can do this, I'm going to be in that 2%. <laughs> Damn. No matter, I never had an epidural because of that because I would be the one mm -hmm. that's paralyzed. So, I mean, even in saying that, it's like... That is still working at GM. We would have engineers come out on the line and they swear up and down they know what's best for us on the line. You know what? These guns are in the way because they're hanging down. Let's take these guns. Let's make these guns all battery packed. That way you can carry it to the line and you ain't, you're not tripping over the lines of the thing. And it, I'm like, that's never going to work. They spent like $350,000 removing all the guns off of ZA deck to make them battery pack. And I said, you just screwed yourself out of 37 seconds. You know how I know? Because when that battery pack go down, you got to stop what you're doing, change the battery, put the other one back on the pack. This is still moving, by the way. The line's still moving. The line ain't going to stop so you can change your battery. Right. Versus muscle memory, you going along, you doing what you do, you doing it on the line, you reach up, grab that, zoop, zoop, let it back up, still doing. But in their head, oh, no, you're going to trip over that. No, I'm not because I know it's there. It's there at that point where I do my, my thing. Thir that, do you know they put all them guns back? Of course. You could have gave me three hundred fifty thousand dollars in two have, seconds. I told when you. When you have people who think they know better than you, they mm -hmm. they tend to poke and pride until they get it right, knowing yeah. the people who are at the bottom know how it's going to begin they with. They need tax write offs. Everything yeah. is a tax write off. Well, if you can anyway. if you can bring it to their attention, you'll get paid for that. And I did thanks to my dad in law. I got a grant on my check like right. some months later because I brought it to their attention that they did question me about it, and I did tell them that's not a good idea. Don't stand out here on the line for fifteen minutes. I e don't stand next to a woman for fifteen minutes and say, you know what? Yeah, you don't need an abortion. All you need to do is better birth control. No, yeah, st stop fucking for a while. Maybe that'll help. Propaganda, the propaganda is not even about birth control. They just want you to have babies. Or, they want or babies. not. They haven't said anything about birth control, and I'm waiting on that topic to come up. It's going to be uh, next. I mean, because you, there, it's gonna there be is next. the reasoning is, is so obvious. Obvious. But, and then you have, I'm sorry, but any woman that supports this, it's absolutely cuckoo. Yo, no, it I, makes it makes I, for good. I I, I I I know that people cannon fodder. They don't believe in abortions. No, but it's not about what you, you believe, believe in. in abortions. It's about you believing that people have the right to to do it. Do certain things with their bodies. What if at some point they're like, you know what, black people shouldn't vote? 
Yeah, I know we yeah, said they could. Now, that's a part that's, of it too. That's part. Yeah. I that's know com, we said they could. Too. That's voted every ten years. Yeah, that's voted. That's on my every point. Ten years. So it's like, why are you steady? Why we're gonna do it? We're we in this yeah, bitch now. Y'all let us in this bitch now. We here. We gonna do it. And, and then, I then, thought that's how they did the with the abortion thing, rights until now. Now that you brought it up, the next mm-hmm. thing that's on the agenda for the Supreme Court, they gotta look after. Gay rights, gay rights, civil rights, it's trickling down, ain't it? And there's one more thing that I missed. Because what did Clarence say? Clarence Thomas. No, no colors at the said, water fountains. No, he said, uh, <laughs> well, probably that too. That's next. Forgetting that he black. Yeah, you know but man. he said that and said that they should go back and reamend uh, marriages. Right. Gay yeah, marriage. He right. said right. they need to go back and relook at Supreme gay Court marriages. Wilding. Right. So it's, it's coming. Yeah. Supreme Court wilding. So them same people that's sitting there and nine tenths of those people up there that's making those decisions, nine tenths of them is halfway gay too, if not in a gay marriage. Then when it Ooh. started affecting allegedly. your house, allegedly, it's mm-hmm. going to affect when your When it started affecting them personally, their like, nieces and daughters, like one of their daughters accidentally get pregnant by a nigga. Or, but yeah, let it be one nigga. Say it, just say it. She didn't got molested. Oh, I ain't prejudiced, but no, nah, we can't have that. But when it physically hits your house. Mm. Then that's when they go back and say, you know what? Maybe that wasn't the best idea because now I got to take Lucy but, Sue over but, here but as long, to Africa. But as long, I'm that baby's but pappy. As long as they got money to <laughs> do it under pappy. the table, it yeah. won't nothing ever change because they have the money to do it the on the table. Well, right? They have the means what, to have a doctor from their house we, and do an abortion. Yeah, what what called, have we called. all noticed about how the Congress and Senate are running? You know this country. Oh, the people that rarely fuck. Death row um, records. How they're running this country. Uh, they don't know how to apologize. They don't know not how gonna. to back down and they don't know how to admit that they're wrong. They're mm-hmm. not gonna. Then they're not gonna. They're not gonna. So they're, they're gonna you know, ride they, this they're better than you. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're better than you. It's gonna make for great pillow talk. Whose they're pussy is this? The Supreme Court's apparently. Is that they're your gonna, answer? They're gonna ride it out. Nah. They're definitely gonna ride it out. And even if they do have to say I'm it's sorry, a sad, sad they're day. still not gonna say I'm sorry. They're just gonna come back and reword it another this, type of way. Mm-hmm. It's a sad, sad when day. When you become a Supreme Court justice, you're there for life. Mm-hmm. So this may not change until someone dies. Dies and or steps down and they, and they put the right person in place. Because even and even then well, they make it, it still has to be marks. a majority rule. Mm-hmm. Right? What was it? Seven three this time? Or uh, seven, six, six three? Six, it was, it was three. Three. Three said yeah. The other. The other. The other justices had said no. Okay, gotcha. So it right, was three v. Or until it allegedly. Nine, so it was three. Um, three v. Six. Nah, six. Six v. Three. Clarence get caught in a, a scandal again. He, he, he can get caught, caught in a lot of scandals. He won't step down. Yeah, but he don't drink. He, he's there for life. No it don't matter. But they can kick you out if you get caught in a. They can vote you out. Then he vote who out? out? He still no, no, you can't vote on Supreme Court justice. Then he get caught up with something, and then he he still need a. Anita Hill. Anita Hill, but with the, the, but that's when he, that was when he was he was being he was being confirmed. confirmed. To be I, don't but, but the, I don't know. That's my point. I don't know. Even the scandal should have stopped the confirmation. Yeah. 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 No, so they, they don't give him, a hell. No, they, they need him in because yeah, they need he's part of the agenda. They had to have him in there. One for the numbers to say that we got a black off in there. You know, if if my only black friend is my best friend was a person, it's close. You was in her place. Third good marshal. Ain't that some shit? Oh, third. Good. I miss so, her good. I, I come across quite a few memes on Facebook. Of course. One says, That's my favorite. Men's reproductive rights. Who should control them? Right. Because life starts at ejaculation. Bam. I think there should be mandatory vasectomies. Is that going to be on the table at some point? But no. you know what? I've, so the I've rapists can't get the little girls pregnant. Who are having vasectomies. I'm a rapist. Let me get a vasectomy. Right. I don't want to get nobody pregnant. Okay. So another one. That's your moral balance. Um, I will never forget that abortions were banned before AR-15. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll never forget what that. Said, My kid said gun. that just the other day. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. make it make sense to me. You have a choice to carry a gun, but you mm-hmm. don't have a choice to not have a baby. Uh, right. In fact, I think it was it's somebody right now online planning to shoot up a school, and y'all worried about shutting down yeah. abortion? Yeah. Well, hold on. Y'all not. Y'all they should have boarded right. his oh, ass. Yeah. You worried about the wrong Perhaps thing? Perhaps Roe can be salvaged if women reclassify their vaginas as holsters. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, that's yeah. the idea. That was John Stewart. You know what? Change your perspective. Change your narrative. I mm. say it all the time. I say it all the time. Yep. You change your narrative. You change your perspective. So and vice versa. And most of all, the number one person Me. who is making a lot of money <laughs> off of pregnancy mm-hmm. is someone you may know. His name is Maurice Richard P- 
Povich. Yeah. A.K.A. Murray. Maury Povich. Murray. Murray. Say in the hood. Murray. 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 Hey, I Murray. I would say stop calling him Murray. 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 It's Murray, y'all. In my hood, is Maury. Mm-mm. Listen, Maury. And Maury, Maury Povich aired from 1991, and he's stopping this year in 2022. Mm-hmm. Uh, he began his career as a radio reporter, and, you know, there's been a lot of shows where people have come together and discovered that they have kids out there, and, and uh, a lot of them where they're a thousand percent sure thousand Murray, percent. That'll be my favorite shows. Sure Every Murray, time they say that, you know and goddamn well. he ain't well. the daddy, and then the dudes start dancing, the girls going to back and cry, and, and, they and throw all kind of shit, and it just, it just And crazy. I really thought it was. So, um, so <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Read a little documentary about the show, Maury Povich show, as well as other talk shows that do paternity testing. Right. And they yeah. said that a lot of times to keep the ratings and to make the show flow, um, they the the outcome cannot be what they say, but they want they want the drama. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course, yeah. Of course. So everything is, even though we're thinking, oh, you know, they're really just finding out, it's all scripted. Of course, It is set, yeah. situated just for drama. And people get wrapped up into these paternity mm-hmm. shows. I can vouch for that. Because me, yeah. me and my cousin was on, on the Ricky Lake show, and we got to New York. We had just went to Freaknik in 98. Oh, oh, oh. We, just went to, we, just get, we just got back from Atlanta. And two weeks after we got back, uh, my cousin... Uh, my cousin's uh, daughter's mother uh, wanted to bring us to uh, Ricky Lake for New York, to New York. So we went to New York, and it was so crazy. We sat in the in the green room with little snackies or whatever, little bits and pieces to nibble on. Mm-hmm. And the, and her one of her producers came in in the room and and told us, "Okay, this was going on. You need to be mad. You need to do that." And we was like, oh, "Okay." And it was so and it was so crazy because. On the show, there were three different people on there, and they cut of the three different people on the show that day. My cousin's thing was cut because my cousin couldn't remember what the producer told him to say and how to act. Plus, his baby mom was a compulsive liar anyway, so she already she was down for the shit. She wrote the she, script. She wanted she wanted that trip to New York. Anyway. She wanted all the smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, and they gave us they gave they gave us. Two hundred dollars. Well, they gave my cousin two hundred dollars. We split it a hundred and a hundred. Yes, we went down. We was walking around um, <laughs> Times Square, and that was my first time getting a New York slice. That was my first time getting a slice. Yes, Lord. And uh, it was just. We talking about food. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I think. Wait, what you talking about? A slice of pussy. Mm. I don't get a slice. They don't come by the slice. I get a whole pie. pie. I get yeah, that's deep pie. dish. That's deep dish. It's two different things, y'all. you know. Yeah, my mind went there that time. I was at the freaks. Deep, I got deep the dish, two slice different things. Of pizza, yeah, uh, yeah. Hope, I went to the freaks and then I mean, it's you, Mo. I gotta add. This is true because yeah. I do, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All of y'all with these sound effects. <laughs> I feel like I had to get in on it. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. Make sure, you know, know how you do. So to to back because so as I stood before you guys earlier and said it's all about a white numbers game. Let allow me to give you the stats behind mm-hmm. my theory because it's something I read about years ago. Anyway, okay. all right. This is from the Gumacher Institute, and you can check this out on Gumacher. Dot org, G-U-T-T-M-A-C-H-E-R dot org. The unintended pregnancy rate is significantly higher in the United States than in many other developed countries, nearly half, 45% or 2.8 million, of the 6.1 million pregnancies in the United States that were unintended. Specifically, 27% of all pregnancies were wanted later and 18% of, uh, of pregnancies were unwanted. Now, here we go. There are also differences in the rates of outcomes of unintended pregnancies across the population groups. Women with in, with low income below, okay, women with incomes below poverty level had an unplanned birth nearly seven times that of women at or above two hundred percent above poverty, basically upper middle class or wealthy. So basically, the poor have babies seven times more than women who are uh, with. Master's degrees, time. bachelor's degrees, and are wealthy. Mm-hmm. Women without high school degrees had the highest unintended unintended pregnancy rate among those of any level, uh, 73 per 1,000. 
and rates were lower with each level of education attained. So mm -hmm. basically, it gets lower and lower the higher you go yeah. up the scale. So mm -hmm. if you have a high school diploma, if you have an associate's, mm -hmm. you have a, a bachelor's, you have a master's, you have a doctorate, you know, as you go up the scale, those people are having less and less babies, probably because they're more than likely because they have higher, they have mm -hmm. Demanding careers, and they spend the majority of time in class, not on their back. The one and only okay. time that I that I um, even thought about having an abortion, I was in a screwed up marriage. The, the first kid passed. The second kid, he took him from me. Now I'm pregnant with a third one. I have nothing. Right, dirt poor. I got to get it out the mud. Nowhere to go. I'm gonna get an abortion. Let me get the yellow pages. Yes, there's a thing called the yellow pages, guys. It's, it's a big book with it's all big. the names of, of companies in it. And that was the only one and only time that I actually pondered should I get an abortion. By the time I I got to the third doctor in the yellow pages, I was bawling my eyes. I can't do it. I can't. That's why I say I'm pro life. I guess now I'm pro choice because. I can't do it, but I would never take that right from a whole nother person. Like in my head, I got to have this kid. I, I got to work to make this situation better for this kid. That, that is just what it is. But to just think, yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant by my daddy or my cousin. or that. <sighs> I guess I got to keep it. What if pregnant cost me my life? What if, I, what if an accidental, what if I have something in my body at this moment that says that I'm pregnant, but I've had this disease or or... Like my uh, or a, or a weak to... cervix that that's a possibility. You're right. not going to be able to carry it no way, and you could miscarriage at any at any time. My girlfriend who has an autoimmune disorder yeah. Yeah. and it caused other things, and she to wanted flare a baby, up. and she couldn't, couldn't carry it. I have um, you know, even with my situation, being on dialysis, there was no way they told me that my life was at danger. So I'm sitting up here. I have Arguing a good friend. She had with 13 miscarriages because of this situation. Like 13. Yeah. But like I said, what you have in, uh, what is it? Um, the blood. The, um, the sickle cell? Sickle cell, and then it's the other one. Um, she has uh, lupus? It. Lupus. Lupus. Oh, like, because I was going to say fibro. To no, lupus. It's yeah, it is. It's dangerous for her to have kids. My, my niece okay, has lupus. My niece, Courtney, and she got two beautiful babies out of it. And it wasn't a pregnancy that was planned. And now I, it's like, okay, I got to choose between if I give this baby this life here, I could possibly, I could possibly lose my life. Mm -hmm. Or if I do live, then I'm still going to lose my baby anyhow. Right. You know, but at that point right there, who get, who, why do you have the right to make that decision for me? That's, you know the, I mean? that's the scary part. That's the scary part. At the end of the day, it's my body. And can't nobody tell me or you know for a fact that collateral your body damage. is not going to yeah. accept yeah. the baby. Collateral damage. The atopic pregnancies it's out there. It's a lot to it. Collateral but damage. It's bigger that. than just aborting a baby. Yeah. It's so much bigger than that. And oh, my God. For men to make that decision for women is just blowing me. Because what? how many have y'all, have anybody in here, any man ever had a baby? Okay, I don't think they should even have a say so. Well, I see the man have one. They exactly. cut it up out the pee pee hole. Um, <laughs> Dr. Chocolate. <laughs> uh, that's I'm a negative. You, you, I, I want to see it happen. You, I'm you, just you, saying, you, baby. For every you, man that voted on that, I want to see yeah, a baby please. slide out there. I don't even got to take it that far. I just want to watch you have a major shit. You know how that feels? Okay, 10 times more than that while you talking. So let's say you had a you had to have a major shit like every three days. Force feed them citric nitrate. No, just squeeze a watermelon through there. Oh. That's all. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Let them squeeze a watermelon. Uh, I would like to say for all, all the men, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Because <laughs> that will not fly. Not not in my, not in my world. <laughs> not in my mind. Did that not, little not hole for, that got to grow? Not even play play. <laughs> Like, no, no, but no. y'all ain't worried about that. No, y'all no. ain't worried about that. This shit got to stretch to ten inches, yeah, but the average inches. baby head is thirteen Imagine to fourteen inches. Y'all pee out of, and you gotta get this wide here. And then they can't wait the six weeks to fuck you again. Did not I just have a whole human? <laughs> I'm drowning y'all out. You know that right? I'm just saying. Cause That's nigga, the price is wrong. All right. <laughs> Price is motherfucking wrong. This shit come out no PO. Unless it's my, unless it's my, but look at that though. Look at that though. Look how passionate you got yeah, about look, that though. But, 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 I'm, but I'm also I'm pro choice because yeah, because I, of that. I didn't kick out a lot of money for you know get that, few, get, that get that thing out of here. If you look demos, so you would have had seventeen. The topic is 
uh, control alt delete that baby. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 and your ass will be uh, control alt delete replaced. Uh, it, it, you know what? Yeah, I'm glad the Lord didn't bless us with a biological child. Mm-hmm. Who gonna look after that child? No, no. I ain't gonna say I'm aborted, but the I know aunties. I could just be like, I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, like Where I said, that? show me a man that can have a baby and go through. Y'all can barely be sick. Oh my God, I, I, I can't. Yeah, y'all, ridiculous. Right. y'all can barely be sick. <gasps> right. Ridiculous. Let's right. know. Just think, you have to for nine months have this little human inside of you. Oh, I love that part of it. No, that's a beautiful thing if you want it. It's I remember thinking. Thing. I remember thinking when my when I was seven months along with my uh, second son. And his dad got a nice ass. I ain't gonna lie. He got an ass like a woman. You seen my ass, so you know. You know where I'm going with this? I literally cried about this shit at seven months along, and I was like, I have to, I ain't worried about pushing his head out. I'm worried about pushing that ass out. Yeah. Who ass is this little motherfucker gonna have? Because that, that looked dangerous. <laughs> Even the women are like, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Man, okay. with a woman's ass. Everyone don't say nothing else. I'm just saying. <laughs> the nigga got a plump ass. It is what it if, is. If, I didn't oh know it at the time. If, if TMI, Niggas was sagging at the Ron time. Singer. Hey, yo. <laughs> if right TMI here. was a person, there she go. There you go. TMI, oh, right there. a lot oh, of information nobody yeah. gives a I fuck see, about. I, mean, I give a right, fuck about it. Like I'm, I'm just saying. That's just the emotional side of it. Like, dude. Y'all don't care about the pushing out part. Till yeah. it come to y'all pee pee hole. Dirty you can look. be fine without okay. having a woman's ass. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah, we, yeah, we definitely going to wrap this up. How close are we to wrapping up? Oh, it's 8.02. Do you have anything else y'all want to comment on about I this got thing? Nothing. Still show me a man having a baby. Oh, let me impregnate one. It, go online. All right. <laughs> so, with that being said, that's, that is the building. And no, we, we're out of. Hey, we had a content. We can see everything we had. And uh, my wife didn't blue highs, so this is a Ain't nobody blue don't goddamn you got, highs. You got check, check your ass up. Blue check your ass up. You, you know what? You got to go home so, with me. So, so everybody check us out. If you want to check Watch us out. Fox 2 News. Check us out. Check us out on Audio Audacity <laughs> Podcast on Facebook. Audio Audacity Podcast on YouTube. Google, Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Spreaker. Listen to us. As well as our Freaks of <gasps> Industry. Oh. Check us out. Freaks of Industry on Facebook. YouTube. Google, Apple, Anchor, Spotify. Uh, but... What else? What else? That's it. That's pretty much. That's pretty much all. all so the, uh, uh, as as this show continues con- to the end, we're we're at the end point, the end game, uh, mm-hmm. in life. It's basically, no, no, that's that's the other one. Here we go. If you got the gall to do it, we have the audacity. To it is about. audio audacity. Yeah, I ain't still don't So we. No man's ass well, like look. <laughs> How did you? Oh. <laughs> I'm complaining. You want to Yes, I was. Because no, <laughs> I'm like, just tell me. I'm good on you today. I'm going to smile right now. You got to ride home with me. Okay, y'all be easy. Give me some of them sweet tarts.